Hey guys and girls, in this video we're going to take a look at the best point and shoot cameras. I made my research and this list reflects my personal opinion, and I've listed products based on quality, durability, price, and more. I've included options for every type of consumer, so if you're looking for an entry level option or the best product money can buy, we may have the product for you in this list. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. The products mentioned are in no exact order, so be sure to stay to the end so you don't miss anything. Also, if you want a chance to win one of the point and shoot cameras in the video, just subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and leave a comment with a hidden word in the video. We will pick a winner and notify him when we reach 5,000 likes. Okay, so without further ado, this is our pick of the best point and shoot cameras on the market right now. Coming at number 10, we've got the Nikon P950. We may be stretching the definition of the point and shoot camera here, as although you can do just that with any camera of choice. And naming Nikon cameras as one of them with its large lens would be remiss to oversimplify this bridge camera like device aimed at intermediate users. Let's just call it a compact all-in-one, which may well be the only camera you'll need thanks to a whopping 83 times optical zoom with dual optical vibration reduction, built into a focal length equivalent to 24 to 2000 millimeters in 35 millimeter film terms, as well as a respectable f2.8 maximum aperture. The camera boasts the ability to shoot 4K video plus supports the capture of raw files, making it an option for that enthusiast who wants a big lens backup camera, as much as the family user looking to tick all the boxes. Number 9. Fujifilm XF10 Many of the cheaper point-and-shoot cameras compromise by using smaller imaging sensors, while those with larger sensors tend to be significantly more balanced. The Fujifilm XF10 represents an attempt to strike a balance between the two, stuffing an APS-C sensor into a compact body that's also available for an impressively low price. It's basically the cheaper counterpart to the firm's well-regarded X100 series, which you'll meet a little further down this list. So while it doesn't have the same of the flashier features, it does reliably produce punchy and vivid images straight out of the camera. You're working with a prime lens, not a zoom, so you'll have to move your feet, but the trade-off is images that are crisp and sharp. The XF10 is available in a few stylish colors too, including the gold-trimmed Demode. Having a touchscreen is handy as well. One tip though, don't expect much of the 4K video, but at a frame rate of 15p, it leaves something to be desired. Coming at number 8, Ricoh GR3. A fantastic fixed focal-length APS-C compact to the rival Fujifilm X100F. This impressive comeback kit from Ricoh was long awaited by photographers of all disciplines. Its APS-C sensor delivers fantastic crisp results whether shooting 24 megapixel images or full HD video, while the redesigned 28mm lens produces images that are sharp from corner to corner. Any gripes? Well, the battery life isn't the best lasting only around 150 shots per charge, which really isn't enough for a camera released in 2019. The lack of 4K video is also a shame, so if this is something that bothers you, then best look elsewhere. Ultimately though, as a pocketable prospect for still shooters, the Ricoh GR3 excels in all other categories. Coming at number 7, Panasonic Lumix. ZS200, TZ200. Panasonic's TZ range of travel friendly super zoom cameras has long been hugely popular with roaming photographers, and the Panasonic Lumix TZ200 represents a great stride forward in terms of its zoom capability. Somehow, Panasonic has managed to fit a 24 to 360 millimeter equivalent onto this tiny body giving the user a great deal of reach and making for a fantastically versatile imaging machine that can still fit in your pocket. And for an uncomplicated camera that does as much as possible, the Lumex TZ200 is a really solid choice. Whether you want to take simple reference photos for a creative project or high quality prints that you'll incorporate into your work. 
Number 6. Fujifilm X100V There are more than a few photographers who count the Fujifilm X100 series as the camera that made them fall in love with photography again. The combination of a high-quality X-Trans sensor, a 35mm equivalent prime lens, dial-based controls, and a stylish retro-inspired design has been winning over hearts and minds for decades. And the X100V is the fifth in its successful series. Not having a zoom may intimidate some photographers, but as the old adage goes, sometimes the best way to zoom in is to move your feet. Images shot on the X100V look utterly gorgeous, straight out of the camera, with the vibrant colors Fujifilm is known for, and the X100V is the first in the family to shoot 4K video. It's not cheap, but given it's one of the best point shoots ever made, that's to be expected. Coming at number 5, Leica Q2. This may be a guide to point and shoot cameras, but that doesn't mean we can't get a little fancy from time to time. The Leica Q2 is no budget model. It's a high-end compact camera for those who demand the ultimate shooting experience, and it delivers that in spades. Pairing a full-frame sensor that has 47.3 megapixels of resolution to play with, and a stabilized 28mm f1.7 lens, the Leica Q2 is just superb to handle. If you ever meet anyone who's actually used one, get ready to be subjected to hours of gushing about how great the focusing feels, how wonderful the raw performance is, and how a fantastic experience using this camera can be. It's not cheap, obviously, but if you have the cash and desire for this camera, you're probably halfway to ordering it already. Enjoy! Coming at number 4, Fujifilm FinePix XP140. The Fujifilm FinePix XP140 is one of the best value waterproof point-and-shoot cameras around. It's not as sophisticated, but in terms of what you get for your money, it's tough to beat. Waterproof down to 25 meters, it produces images with punchy colors, making it a great choice for a beachside holiday. It's tough and brightly colored, and a 5x optical zoom adds a fair amount of shooting versatility. The XP140 even shoots 4K video, although in all honesty, you probably won't be using this function much since it caps out at a 15p frame and doesn't look that great. Still, for general purpose shooting above and below the water, this represents a fantastic buy. Number 3. Canon PowerShot G9X Mark II the Canon PowerShot G9X Mark II represents a fantastic balance between value and functionality. It costs a little more than your bargain bin point and shoot, but you get so much more for your money. With a sensor capable of producing both beautifully punchy JPEGs and highly adjustable RAW files. There are plenty more features on this camera that should satisfy any prospective point and shoot buyer. It shoots great looking full HD video and boasts an intuitive touchscreen interface that makes it a pleasure to use. Being a couple of years old means the G9X Mark II can be picked up for a great price. In terms of sheer value for money, it's one of the best point shoot cameras around right now. Coming at number 2, Sony RX100 Mark IV. Sony has wildly chosen to keep all seven of its RX100 cameras in production and widely available since each one's respective launch, which means there's a strong possibility one will suit your specific needs and budget. While the company's more recent models still have an asking price that sells close to their RRPs, the Mark IV continues to hit the sweet spot between features, performance, size, and price. This point-and-shoot camera is an ideal all-rounder for the more discerning user. On top of its 20.1 megapixel 1-inch sensor and a ZI SS Vario Sonar 24-70mm, f 1.8 to 2.8 optic the camera has a high quality pop-up viewfinder together with a tilting lcd screen that goes all the way around to face the front and even 16 frames per second burst shooting for critical captures 4k video and hd recording to a staggering 960 frames per second for slow motion output are also on hand as is wi-fi and nfc for simple cable-free communication between the camera and smart device. It's not the cheapest option out there, but you get a solid performance for your money, whatever you might be photographing. 
Number 1. Canon PowerShot G5X Mark II A good point-and-shoot camera that should be easy to use, versatile, and pocketable. The Canon PowerShot G5X Mark II takes all of these boxes and then some. Its 24 to 105 mm gives the user a hugely generous zoom range to play with, while its 20 megapixel 1 inch sensor produces images that look fantastic, particularly in raw mode, which is handy because you can also use burst shoot in raw mode at a hugely impressive 30 frames per second, enough to freeze even the fastest of fleeting moments. That brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best point and shoot cameras. Hope to see you in the next video. Let us know in the comments what is your favorite one. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we launch new videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.